Finding a dimension for the subspace spanned by these vectors is the same thing as finding dimension for the column space of matrix. So what we would do here, we would take our vectors and we would write them as coefficient matrix. So that's gonna be one, zero, two. And then we're gonna perform a reduced row echelon form on it. So at first we're gonna subtract twice first row from the third and get one zero zero three one negative five nine four negative twenty. Then we're gonna divide third row by five and add second row to the third. So we get two, three, one, zero, nine, four, zero, negative one. And now we're gonna subtract three times second row from the first to get one zero 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 one zero negative three four zero two negative three zero that's gonna be so now we can see two pivot columns so this first one and the second and therefore the dimension of the subspace span by vector is two because dimension corresponds with the pivot columns so it's equal to the pivots which is two that's going to be the answer